cons uh, duplicate segments and angles. And so the main thing that you need to understand is that when we are uh, doing geometric constructions, your ruler is not for measuring lengths anymore at this point right now. All it's to be used for is to make a straight line, okay? And so what I would like you to do to start with is make a straight line with your ruler. And it shouldn't really be too long, okay? Because what you're going to need is eventually you're going to have to be able to make your compass so that it goes wide enough so that it can go from one end of your line segment to the other. So don't make it too long. And go ahead and label the endpoints A and B. And what we are doing is we are doing a construction. So you're going to need to pay a little bit of attention to the directions in your book. When it says construction, that means you need to use a ruler and a compass to do it. And all the lines have to be nice and neat and straight and all the angles have to be perfect. If it says sketch or draw, then that means you can just kind of do it freehand and as long as you label everything correctly, you're okay. But a construction means we're not messing around, okay? All right, so does everybody have a segment drawn on their paper? Yes. All right, so our job now is to draw a segment that's exactly the same length as the one that you just did. And oddly enough, the way that we're going to start is we're going to start by drawing a segment that is longer than the one that you just made. Okay? Label this point on the left A with a little uh, apostrophe, and that means A prime. Okay? And so A goes with, yeah, the next one's going to be B prime, but the question is where does B prime go? And uh, this should be really, really simple. We're starting with some very basic stuff here, but we're going to use this repeatedly to do other more complicated drawings. Okay? The way that you figure out where point B goes is you take your compass and you open it up until it is the width of your original segment. Okay? And then you take it without it moving, and that's why these nice fancy ones are um, so nice to work with, because it's just going to stay there for you. It's not going to screw things up. And you put it so that the sharp point is on A prime. And then with the other side, you are going to strike an arc like that. And can anybody tell me where B prime will be located? Where the arc intersects the line. So fill that in with a little dot. You put B prime, and you should have two segments that are exactly the same length. So in order to duplicate an angle, just like on the last thing, you're going to have to make an angle to start with. And uh, try to, uh, like I told Tristan, make sure that you're using your ruler to draw these lines because uh, it'll be a little bit easier to get this to work if your lines are straight. And it doesn't really again matter how big your angle is. I would suggest that you make it an acute angle, but if it's obtuse, if you want to be different, totally fine with that. I'm totally okay with that. All right, so to duplicate this angle, to start with, you're not going to make a circle. You're going to make a line. And this line that you just made is going to be one of the sides of your angle. Nate, make a line. Come on, let's go. Just anywhere. Below it, above it, off to the side. Doesn't matter. What? What do you mean by straight across? Oh, yeah, I made mine a little wonky, but that's okay. All right, so like I said, this is going to be a side of this angle right here, so I know that that little 
uh, point here on the end is going to be my vertex A prime. The question is, in this case, where do I put the B prime and the C prime to make the two angles the same? And this is where the fun begins, okay? So you're really going to have to pay attention and then raise your hand if uh, I lose you. First thing you do is you take your uh, compass and put it on your original angle so that the point of the compass is on vertex A. Okay? Or B, depending on how you label it. Yeah, on your vertex point. All right, then strike an arc that goes through both sides of that angle. Now you're going to make that exact same arc down here. So just scoot it down to your segment. Put the sharp point of the compass on uh, your, what will be your vertex point and make an arc right there, okay? And bigger is better in this case because we want to make sure that it's wide enough to get our angle in there. What you are going to do now is you are going to, just in the same way that we measured that segment in the last activity, you are going to measure basically the width of this angle right at that part. Okay, so uh, spread the compass apart so that if uh, one point is where this arc crosses one side of the angle, and the pencil point is where this arc crosses the other side of the angle. All right, and then here it is, the, the, uh, the big punch line. Move it down to where the arc crosses your line segment. Okay, and then you should be able to uh, draw a little arc right there. Okay, and since this distance right here is the same as this distance right there, if I now finish my angle by drawing a straight line from my new vertex to where they cross, and that is a beautiful straight line. Then this new angle should be the same as my original angle. I can label it with a C prime and a B prime, and I am good to go. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, put the assignment up on the board so people are going to start working on that, and I'm going to come around and help people uh, to make sure we've got that angle duplicated correctly.